The dangers of divorce. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, reconciliation among spouses is the best. I bear witness. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, and Muhammad is his servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the Day of Judgment. In Islam, the marital life has a special and high status. Therefore, Islam has set a certain rights, duties, and morals to ensure the marital life's stability, coherence, and sustainability within the framework of tranquility, affection, compassion, and mutual, mutual respect. The Almighty Allah says, live with them, wives, in accordance with what is fair and kind. The Prophet said, the best of you is he who is the best of his family, and I'm the best among you to my family. When contemplating the glorious Quran, one finds that the Almighty Allah calls marriage as solemn pledge to show that it must be respected and warn against the, danger, the dangers of nullifying it. Allah said, Thy wives have taken a solemn pledge from you. The Islamic Sharia called upon both spouses to deal with each other justly and fairly and to search for the good aspects in the other's party personality. Both spouses must think carefully about the merit of maintaining a marital life, such as psychological and behavior stability. And happiness of children, the Almighty Allah said, love with them in accordance with what is fair and kind. If you dislike them, it may well be that you dislike something in which Allah has put much good. The Prophet ﷺ also said, A believer must not hate his wife. A believer must not hate his wife. Believing women, if he dislike one of her characteristics, he will be pleased with another. To be completely perfect is not a human manner or a human nature. To be a completely perfect is not a human ma nature. It is Allah alone who had the utmost perfection, and it's only prophets who are free from defects. It goes without saying that the marital life may encounter difference in viewpoints, a matter that affect the coherence of the family. Therefore, the glorious Quran has set an effective treatment for that. The Quran shows that the best solution is to make reconciliation and to settle the disagreement among spouses in a way that pleases both of them. Allah says, if a wife fear high handedness of alienation from her husband, neither of them will be blamed if they come to a peaceful settlement for settlement is a pest. Although human soul are prone to selfishness, if you do good and are mindful of Allah, he is well aware of all that you do. If necessary, the families of the spouses may intervene, intervene provided that those who intervene should be people of wisdom. So those who intervene should be people of wisdom experience, reconciliation, and piety, in order to remove the cause of disagreement. The Almighty Allah says, if you believers fear that a couple may break up, appoint one arbiter from his family and one from hers. Then if the couple went to put things right, Allah will bring about reconciliation between them. He is all knowing, all aware. Allah grants great reward for those who make such intervention. As he, Most High, said, there is no good. There is no good in most of their talking or secret talk 
only in commanding in charity or good or reconciliation between people to anyone who does these things, seeking to please Allah, we shall give a rich reward. The Prophet وسلم, also said, shall I not inform you of something more excellent in degree than fasting, prayer, and charity? The people replied, yes, Prophet وسلم, yes, Prophet of Allah, he said, it is putting things right between people. However, if it comes to, like, if it become difficult, however, if it becomes difficult to maintain the marital life, Sharia guides spouses to have time to retain tranquility, forget their bad feelings, and think rationally to continue their life again. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds. May Allah peace and blessing be upon Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, his companions and followers. There is no doubt that divorce is destructive for the home. There is no doubt that divorce is destructive for the home, which the Sharia command us to build it on the foundation of tranquility, affection, and compassion. It also has many dangers and negative effect on the family and society. In particular, divorce affects children, causing psychological, social, and economic problems for them. As a result of divorce, children lose the basis of fr fruitful and sound upbringing due to that such separation, which make them vulnerable to psychologic, psychological, psychological disorder and learning problems. As a result, children may deviate or be employed by radical and extremist groups this is why the Satan is keen to tempt spouses to resort to divorce. The Prophet ﷺ said, Iblis, Satan, places his throne upon water. He then sent the detachment for creating dissension. The nearer to him in rank are those who are the most nutritious in creating dissension. One of them comes and says, I did so and so. And he says, you have done nothing. You have done nothing. Then one must, one amongst them comes and says, I did, I did not spare so and so until I sowed the seed of discord between a husband and a wife. The Satan goes near him and says, you have done well. You have done well. This necessity is that we should be aware and work hard to escape Satan's temptations. How it's pleasant to have a tranquility, affection, and respect among the fa all family members, so the stability and cohesion are achieved in the whole society. May Allah makes us love each other. May Allah makes us love each other and remove hatred from our heart. Thank you.